Hello children, welcome back to my next lecture, learning about text tool. Children, when you see this toolbox, uh, we've already seen the pick tool, freehand tool, freeform tool, right children? Uh, in the previous lecture also, we have learned about the shape tools. So today what we will do is, we'll first initially directly learn with the text tool. When you press F8 key on the keyboard, you come to the text tool okay children now there are two options over here there is a text tool as well as there is a table tool so we will be learning about the text tool now there are two types of text when you type okay when i click on the text tool and if you just simply click once okay what i do is uh, i i'll just type knowledge is divine okay knowledge is divine now here I have typed this text okay now I want to have a paragraphic text children so what I'll have to do is I'll have to drag a rectangular marquee over here this is my rectangular marquee so I, I can type paragraphic text over here supposing I want a paragraphic text in this so I have some ready-made contents in the clipboard so I will just press ctrl V and paste the contents okay some ready-made contents I have just taken from uh, somewhere and then what we do is uh, I will just show you the difference uh, between the paragraphic text and the artistic text now uh, children what I'll do is I'll take the pick tool and keep this aside keep the text box aside over here okay and then we'll work with this artistic text hmm? now I'll just increase the size a bit okay and then I take a circle over your children. I press F7 or click on the ellipse tool and press draw a circle. Now uh, children as you know when you keep the shift key pressed okay along with the mouse button then you get an exact circle okay. But if I leave the shift key then I get an ellipse okay. So, if I just draw my uh, circle or uh, it can be called ellipse, okay. Uh, with the mouse pointer, it's just an ellipse. But if I keep the shift key pressed on the keyboard and then drag, I get an exact circle, children. So, now I have drawn a circle right now over here. What I do is, I have, uh, this is already selected. So, I go to the pick tool over here and I press I select this with the shift key I select uh, the text as well as the circle okay now I want to place this knowledge is divine onto the circle so what I do is children I have to go to text on the menu bar and there is an option fit text to path so I have to click on fit text to path okay now when I click on this fit text to path okay what has happened? The text which was appearing is placed onto a circle. Fine children. Now, when I click on text again, you see only fit text to path is uh, activated in this particular options. Okay. So, what I want to do is I want to again come out of this option. When I click here, okay children, what happens is another toolbar comes in uh, your properties for the text fine now when i click here okay these are the various text orientations which are there you see as i click here my text orientation is changing you see Th these are the predefined formats which are there now this here this is my distance from the path. Now circle is my path. Supposing I take the first option itself and I increase this distance from the path. So there is a distance from my path here. You see, I want to shift this little towards the right here or offset. If I decrease this down, then I come towards downwards on the left hand side this is right hand side okay when i increase now this is your placing mirror text horizontally you see what has happened 
the text is flipped see the knowledge is divine the words are changing as i keep clicking okay children if i click here on this mirror text vertical you see what is happening children the text is dropped down you see the difference okay and then here this is your font which you want to change okay now again i come back to this uh, i will just mirror it again i use this option back mirror horizontally so i get the text back again fine now what i want to do is children i want to remove this circle so i when i click see everything is getting selected no see so what i want to do is i want to detach this particular circle from my text so what i do is children i go to object and i say break apart but this break apart is not activated because my selection is uh not there for the whole thing so i'll have to select the whole object children full object then only this particular break apart will be activated i repeat again children see previously what was happening i had selected only circle fine but i have to select the whole object so i click on this text also so you see all four nodes are there and both the objects are selected so i click on object and i click on break text apart okay now when i say break text apart i click outside again and i see the circle can be deleted fine and then i get the text arranged over here like this fine children i yeah now what we'll do is children we'll see how we can make the uh, text straight again okay now there are three options as i said supposing i have already selected the text if i say align to baseline what happens is the baseline is aligned you see there is one only one line on this you can see this line here so align to baseline means the baseline of the nodes of every text character okay every alphabet has a baseline so you can see these nodes now the this is called as a baseline so what i'll do is children i will press control z again undo or you can press this undo over here on the ribbon okay when i click here it comes back to the previous text when i click on text and if i say straighten text children so what will happen is my effect of the path will go away and my text will be in the normal position fine children 